A very good day to you and welcome to Herman Manyora's YouTube channel. My name is Jadil Kibiro. Absolutely excited that you're here for our political conversations. Conversations that are very simple, truthful, hard hitting with Herman Manyora in an unbiased way too. How are you doing, sir? Good. It's a new week, fresh week. Fresh week. A week of brotherhood, I guess, from Saturday. Brotherhood, and friendship. And Sunday, the two leaders, Prime Minister Raila Odinga, President William Ruto, meeting twice in two days what does this show is this the sign thrice actually it's thrice actually yes. different occasions yes. this is a sign of something new the handshake that people are not expecting has already happened actually what everybody is calling to ask me yeah uh, media fellows are asking me what does it does it mean handshake is in the making you know this is the question is, does that actually mean the handshake is in the making you can't rule it out mm. you can't rule it out mm. But it's not a coincidence that they met even on Sunday, they were going to watch the Mashabidi it derby. It's not. It's not a coincidence. What are you not telling me? Because the, the, when I ask you these questions, you always come up with longer answers. What are you not telling me? I'm saying it's too much to be a coincidence. Okay. Yeah. Something is, is in, in the making. Yes. What does this mean, though, for regarding Ashagwa, Deputy President, he said this is not going to happen. They are not going to watch this happen. And now they're watching it happen. What does this mean for them? It's politics. The hardliners. Gashagwa is a politician. He knows politics is politics. Mm. Politics, anything can happen in politics. Anything. Mm. Politics is simply politics. It can't be anything else. There's nothing you can do about it. No, whether you happen. want it or not. What, what is always... Uh, I mean, for people like Rigade Gashagwa, they have to be prepared for many things. Mm. Yeah. So that you are not caught unawares. Mm. Ruto saw it coming. He chose to fight. Mm. He's the president. Gashagwa should be prepared. If he sees it coming, what is his line of defense or attack? Mm. Will you play it differently? Will you play the way Ruto played it? Mm. Because it can come. I'm not saying it will come. Mm. But you have to be prepared. Ruto was prepared. He saw it. For Kenyans thinking they are, they are having these talks, they are meeting, and the cost of living is still there. You know, people think as if they are being forgotten. Raila was actually saying, I know Ruto. Atapiga kelele. Atulie. Ruto says, I, we, I know Raila, even CCC and Awazimu too. Uh, is, what, what is the line between playing politics for the two of them and actually telling Kenyans that we are thinking about you? Politicians never think about anybody. Who tells you they think about anybody? Hmm. So sad. Never. A typical politician plays a game with a fellow politician. In between there is nothing. Interests only. There is never about you. It's not about people. Hmm. And if you play the politics for people, Raila has played it for so long. He's never been president. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That you want the best for people. Mm -hmm. The same, same people will not give you the power to help them. Uh. So, and that's why politics is really about people. Mm -hmm. Politics is about crude, raw power. Mm -hmm. Crude, raw, raw power uh. that serves your interests. As a person. As a person. Not the people or that are group. Elect at the very most a group. Uh, but usually a person. What is the right way of going through this handshake if there is to be one? Because they met at Mukamiki Mathis, they were they met uh, on different occasions uh, in Kasarani, I believe. What is the right route for it for, for them to have this handshake so that people don't feel left behind? It will be very the difficult country for remain stable. They will have to play it to play it very smart. First, first of all, the mood is entirely against the handshake. Not just regarding the mm. The country is an, entirely against the handshake. Mm. And that's how you can find, I'm saying, depends on how Gashagwa plays it. If they play the handshake in a crude way, mm. that's not sophisticated, that doesn't hide the intent, mm. Gashagwa can cut away the, the crowd. Because the country is against the handshake. Mm. Yeah. The way Ruto did I'm not saying the handshake is bad. Yeah. But the mood in the country is against the handshake. And therefore, if these two gentlemen went into a handshake in a careless manner, and Gashagwa chose to oppose them, he would have a serious backing. Whoever Gashagwa or whoever it be. Mm. Yeah, he would have a very serious backing. Because for what we saw, Raila did not even greet Musali Mudavadi. Yes. He's raising eyebrows. What does this mean? This is how politics is played. You know, the moment Raila dines with Ruto, the rest are irrelevant now that's how I, that's how it works oh, really it's uh, you yeah? become irrelevant that's what i'm saying yeah. if you are mdabadi what are your cards what are your options unfortunately for my brother his options are always clear simple mm. predictable consistent which options are these is to wait to be given 
Oh. He's on the queue to be given. Mm. That's not politics. Politics never played like that. Mm. Politics is never... In fact, if Mdabadi had worked with guys like us, there were always openings I could see. Right from the time of the coalition government. The moment Raila entered into a, into a bad arrangement with Kibaki, mm. the day Raila walked out of Sagana with Kibaki, with almost nothing in his hands, Mm. If Mdavadi had walked out of that arrangement, he would have become president. Mm. Ruto saw it, but he didn't have the numbers. But there was he needed time to accumulate the numbers and grow his name. Mm. Mudabadi already had a name. All he needed to say, this arrangement that Raila has accepted from Kibaki is not what we fought for. I can't be part of this nonsense. Mm. Is that what was happening with the Madimo? And the come 2020s, 20, 20, 2007 or something like that, mm. the 2013, yeah. his candidature would have been a very powerful Isn't one. Isn't that when we heard of the Madimon thing? As if and again, then he's given the Madimon to be, thing. To, to, to be endorsed and then... Madimon was now, now later. Yeah. That is now after the Rakibaki and the Raila had done full circle five years. Yes. And they were exiting in 2012-2013. Okay. Uhuru then, uh, fearing ICC, together with Ruto, approached him Mudabad. Mm. Now we hear also Kalonzo. Mm. You get the president. That was a foolish and bad gamble on the part of Raila, on the part of Uhuru. Oh. The best gamble for Uhuru and for this country would have been Raila. Mm. And the history will bear me right. Even though he has if Uhuru and Ruto had backed Raila in 2013, mm. Uhuru will be president now and Ruto will be president after him. And this country will be so united. There will, be, there will be no friction. Don't you think that is the, what Uhuru, what you're saying is what you're saying against Mudavadi? Uhuru did not wait to be given by Raila if he endorses him. Mm -hmm. So he decided to let me No, I'm the saying there was, it was the, 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 there was always the possibility in 2013 and in 2022 mm -hmm. for us to craft an arrangement mm -hmm. that takes into consideration, into consideration the troubles that we have gone through at us, as a country. Mm. that destroys this tribalism animal mm. of tribe completely. There have been opportunities like those. In 2003, if Kibaki had not rubbished the MOU, and I've written about it, mm. tribalism, would have, tribalism would have been dealt fatal blow. It would have died. Mm. If in 2013, Ruto and Uhuru had given Raila. Mm. No, give, not to say give. Mm. Just an, an, a national consensus, political consensus. Mm. Just like they went to look for Mdavadi and went to look for Kalonzo. Mm. If they had said, sat with Raila, Raila, mm. you are a statesman who respect you. You've done so much for this country. Our fear is, you seem to want to take us to the ICC, which was not true. Raila is such a person. You, Raila is a gentleman. There's no way Raila would have taken these guys to the ICC. Oh. Absolutely not. Even now that he has written about no, Rashawa. No, now it's different. Now uh, it's because of these demonstrations. This is a different ball game. Mm. Raila would have been more than happy to be supported to be president. And this thing of tribe would have ended. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. Now fast forward, we are here with Raila Ruto. And I'm thinking also about Kalonzo Musioka and Martha Karua. They did not attend uh, Mukami Kimathi's burial. Uh, what many is, people what, feared that what thing. Is the place? Uh, many people, the, the, there were issues about that burial. Uh. Uh, some people did not want these people to go there, including Raila and the rest. That's why people, even like Mamangina, didn't go. Hmm. Mm. People feared violence. Hmm? Yeah, so Raila is just a bold man. That's why he went. Hmm. What is the place of Kalonzo Musioka, Matha Karua? And we saw uh, Jubilee Sek Jen over there, Jeremiah Kioni, what is their place now if this handshake comes to it be? It is very difficult. You have to wait for it to happen. It depends on whether it will happen, when it will happen, how it will happen, who will be the people in, yeah. uh, involved. It's a very difficult uh, puzzle. It's not something simple. Mm. Will it happen? If yes, when? Mm. Who will be the main players? How will it happen? Mm. You know, what, what, how will they convince the country? Uh, how will it be presented? Will it be presented as an usmukate? As a handshake? Mm. Will it come as BBI? How will it come? This is an animal you have to wait to see when it emerges but what is from you, the forest. I, I want to know your advice for Kalonzo Musioka because he has always said... Kalonzo Musioka, let me now mention them. Uh, Kalonzo Musioka, Mother Karua, mm. 
regarding the Shagwa. Musali Mdavadi. Those are the top contenders, right? Eh? Yeah. They have to sit down now with their people to begin thinking. Yeah. You have to think. Thinking does not necessarily mean you'll have to oppose Ruta and or Raila. Uh. Or both of them. It simply means you look at your realistic realistic chances of anything. Mm. And how do you actualize that? Mm. How do you play it and who do you play with? Mm. But their problem is most of these people will not be like Ruto. They will wait to be given. And they will be disappointed. Mm. Because the moment Raila plays game with, with, with Ruto, Mdabad is gone through the windows. He's not needed. He's not important. Mm. The Gashagwa may think he's very critical on this government, as he has said. The truth is, once you have Raila, mm. Gashagwa is not as important as, as, as he might think. There's a man that is... That, it doesn't mean Gashagwa has no option. Yeah. In fact, Gashagwa ought to, ought to have people who can think for him. Yeah. In fact, he has very good options. He's the only man who can shake these two. Mm. Yeah. Because you know he's a fighter. You know? Yeah. And he doesn't care. Mm. If he turned his gun on him, on these two guys, he will get a very big following. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's Mdavadi, he will mm. take Mdavadi, take somebody else, take somebody else, and face these two. Give Ruto Raila a hard time. Yes. Already the Kikuyus are not that happy with this government. Mm. That's the truth. And even Gishago must know it. They are not that very happy. I, I, I'm thinking about Jeremiah Kioni. What, what is your general assessment of how he has positioned himself? Because when you look at Raila now, it's as if he's now the right man hand with when it comes to... People like, uh, people like Kioni always uh, get somewhere. Mm. At times like, in times like this, few men can stand up for something. Mm. Few men can resist the temptation. There's a lot of temptation from the other side. Mm. So people like, uh, like Kioni, who can stand for something at a time like this, mm. at a great risk. History has shown sometimes they reap dividends. As we wind up, what is because if Raila goes yeah. into a handshake, he cannot leave. He can leave everybody else behind, yeah. but not Kion. Mm. Because again, when you see Kion, you see Uru Kenyatta. Okay. When you see Kion, you see Uru Kenyatta. Yeah. So, if Raila enters into some form of agreement with Ruto, mm. Kion will be the first person behind Raila as they enter the room. The others, the door may be locked before they enter. Mm. One or two may sneak through the window. <laughs> What is your advice, though, for Raila Odinga? Mother Karua can fight yeah. her way through the window. She can, she's the Iron Lady. Advice yes. for Raila Odinga, she has a big following now. We know that. I would only tell Raila this. Because I'm a good person. And I, I mean well for Raila. I always have this nightmare of sorts. Hmm. That one day Raila should end his political career badly. Despised. You know? Mm. People saying all manner of things about him. Raila must know people didn't like the handshake and let's not debate it cost him mm. it is a miracle and a testament to how tough he is that he was able to bring back people who had gone because of the handshake mm. but those who slipped through the, win the fingers cost him the, the, the election you could talk of theft but even the turnout in Yanza and elsewhere some of these things are, are bearing mm. uh, no, no, because of that People didn't like the handshake. Yeah. They know it cost him the president. Number two, the turnout during the mass action shows the anger that people have had over the years. People were extremely disappointed when Raila called off the mass action. Mm -hmm. That he must know. When he came from Dubai and headed straight to Kibra, mm -hmm. he was told, the MP said, People are waiting for demonstrations. Yeah. And when they announce a second, you saw how people are ready. Yeah. Again, they postponed it. So for Raila, he must know now that people are not happy. And finally, because I have a nose for politics, mm. and uh, my ear is always on the ground, they may have intelligence. Both Raila and Ruto have serious intelligence. Mm. Ruto has official intelligence. Raila, Raila has, a, has a network of intelligence. Yeah. He will know anything you do. Who you talk to. They know. Mm. But I'll tell him these are also no things. Mm. The way they know. People have not liked what they have seen over the weekend. 
yeah. his people. It's a fact. Mm. Me, I'm happy. What I've been praying for, almost going on my knees, mm. except it's sacrilegious. Yeah. And my religion doesn't allow it. Yeah. I have been praying day and night that we head in the direction of peace. So for me, I'm happy. But the people who support Rahil are very, very disappointed. So they how? When they see this, the root, the brother take, thing, uh, almost hugging. Uh, uh, so the route they take for them to have this dialogue, for them to meet, for them to have a consensus. So that, that means something, this. Whatever they do, let them try to do it in the interest of the people. And let it be very clear mm. that it's actually in the interest of the people. Mm. Because there is a danger lacking in the forest around this country. Mm. And in the forest in this country. In the skies and in the waters of this country. Mm. The people will take it to the streets themselves. We will never control it. We will lose it. Mm. We will never ever control it. And therefore, whatever direction these things take, they have to listen to Manyora telling them, do not disappoint the people. Mm. It's okay for you to talk. It's okay for you to enter into any agreement, mm. into any relationship, handshake, call it what you want to call it, but make sure Mm. People do not interpret that to be selfish. Mm. Because if that is the case, we will get into big, big problems when people will take things in their own hands. Say we have been depending on Raila, it's not longer working. Mm. We are not going to die in our houses. They will go to the streets on their own. That will be very dangerous. And therefore, mm. much as I celebrate the newfound relationship between Raila and Ruto, I must caution them. Especially Raila. Mm. His people are highly, highly, and highly dissatisfied and extremely mm. uncomfortable with the new fine relationship with, 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 with Ruto, which is what we want ourselves. But they are not happy about it. And if the new deal leaves people thinking, the guys are selfish. Mm. We'll get into trouble as a country. We're going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for tuning in into a political conversation, a conversation of the newfound relationship between President William Ruto and Prime Minister Raila Odinga. Have yourself a lovely rest of your day. <laughs>